Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you the method to display the layer buttons to manage the layer order in CapCut. Let's get started. The visibility of the layer buttons in CapCut is triggered by a global setting. To understand why the layer buttons may be missing, let's examine how this setting is supposed to work. I am going to add some pictures to the timeline. Notice that after selecting one or more pictures, you can drag and drop them. To set the visibility, the top image is displayed, but underlying images may not be visible under certain circumstances. Note that with this setting enabled, the layer buttons are not displayed and are therefore missing. To display the buttons, you need to change the setting by unchecking the Arrange Layers checkbox. Note that this is a global setting. And as a result, when you create a new project, the drag and drop functionality is somewhat restricted. Maybe as a compromise for this limitation, the layer buttons are now displayed. Now, you can use the buttons to change which picture is shown on top without actually rearranging. If you ask me, this is a bug. CapCut should allow both drag and drop functionality and display the layer buttons to order clips. If you agree, please give this video a thumbs up to raise visibility and give ByteDance a chance to fix this issue in a future version of CapCut. Now that we've established the workaround for the missing layer buttons in new projects, let me show you how to fix this issue for existing projects. It's always a good idea to create a backup in case something goes wrong. The local setting responsible for the display of the layer buttons is located within a file. Navigate to the project path displayed in the upper right-hand corner of CapCut. Before opening the file in a text editor, make sure to close the project in CapCut first. Now open the JSON file in a regular text editor like Notepad. Now search for Render Index Track Mode setting. Replace True with False, then save the file. Repeat the process for the backup file. To be honest, I'm not sure if this step is really necessary, so let me know in the comments below. By the way, if you want to learn more about the settings, consider using a JSON file editor. Once you've finished editing the files, open up the project in CapCut. After selecting a picture or clip, you will notice that the layer buttons are displayed as expected. So to wrap it up, these were different methods to show the missing layer buttons in CapCut again. If you found this video useful, consider buying me a new car. Or if you don't have the necessary spare change, consider giving the video a thumbs up. See you in the next video for even better ads.